What up homies and welcome back to another Achievements Are Impossible, where we 100% a game and give ourselves a new challenge. This episode we have a classic, Learn to Fly 3. For the people who have never heard of this game, and for the gods who do know, you may have a core memory activated here. This is an older game, so old that it's actually a Flash game. For some general context, people can't develop or really use Flash games or Flash as a service for the most part online. Learn to Fly 3 is a game where you fly penguins to reach space or the edge of the world for Penguin NASA. The farther the distance or speed that is achieved, the more funding that's earned per day. There are all sorts of wacky items and upgrades Penguin scientists discover for us to create the ultimate flight. There are also various modifiers and game modes to play. This game has 40 achievements in total related to reaching certain heights, beating game modes in a set amount in days, and finding secrets. As any good Flash player game these days, we load up and get greeted with all the alerts and errors related to connectivity and security and in-game shop purchases. We start our first story mode playthrough. We learn a bit about the Penguin training program at Penguin NASA, and then get brought straight to our hangar where we can upgrade and customize our setup. We take flight and learn about launchers, boosters, stages, and bodies. We end up reaching 5,000 feet and unlock Let Me Get High. We continue to test our new items and launchers as a lot of them work differently. Some being luck based, some working as you'd expect them, some requiring precision, and some requiring nothing at all. We eventually reach 10,000 feet, unlocking Who's Flightless Now. Although I really enjoy launchers, we pay more attention to our body to upgrade the max speed and our boosters to maintain speed more efficiently. We reach 20 miles per hour without the help of our launcher and unlock Gotta Go Fast. The main goal of the story mode is to reach 200,000 feet in the air to reach space. As we get higher into the sky, the wind pushed us 10,000 feet to the right, unlocking sideways is the new up. Every day in game that passes, we get closer to space and earn more money for upgrades. Soon enough, we flew for a total of 300 seconds, which unlocks Did My Time. Our launcher at this point is so powerful that we're blasting straight up into the sky, getting pushed by the wind and into an object that's in the air, and then having the object redirect us straight back down. Regardless of this, we flew for a total of 500,000 feet which unlocked up, up, and away. We get lucky enough to not hit so many obstacles and had a run that lasted more than 20 seconds, unlocking serious airtime. And shortly after that, we unlocked that'll buff out for hitting 100 obstacles. Next thing we knew, we earned a total of 50,000, unlocking money making. Then we played for our 50th in-game day, unlocking casual. Despite having earned 50,000 a few runs ago, we just now unlocked pocket change for having 10,000 in our bank at once. Now I'm honestly not sure what happened here, but we unlocked I'd buy that for a dollar for making 20 purchases, even though we didn't buy anything, and we just reached space. What's even weirder is we didn't unlock the achievement for beating the story mode when we reached space. We got another unlucky run and hit a few obstacles, ultimately sending us 200,000 feet to the side unlocking I will go the distance. Although it being a larger setback going to the side, we were only 3,000 feet away from beating the story mode back to back. We loaded up our next run and got to space with ease. This time we watched the ending cutscene as we fly off into space, never to be seen again. After beating the story, we get to choose from four different packs that will give us new items to use, BP which is an in-game currency for permanent upgrades, consumables, which can help boost stats for one run, and sardines, which is another currency to unlock powerful items. We open a pack and then unlock Reach Out and Touch Space for beating the story mode. There's a few directions to branch off here now that we've beaten the first story mode. We unlocked more versions of story mode where it takes 500,000 feet, 1 million feet, and 4 million feet to reach space, as well as three other modes entirely. Classic mode, where the goal is to fly as far horizontally as possible to reach the edge of the world. Payload mode, 
where we have to take 1 pound weights, 10 pound weights, 50 pound weights, and 75 pound weights up to 200,000 feet. And lastly, sandbox mode, where it's story mode with no end and we can adjust the game settings to make it harder or easier for us. Before doing anything, we head back to the save file we just completed for a few specific achievements. We removed our body and reached 100,000 feet, unlocking Penguin in space. Next, we took off our boosters and launchers and reached 25,000 feet to unlock Keeping It Simple, and we reached space again without launchers or boosters to unlock Simple Doesn't Mean Bad. Conveniently, this took so long we surpassed a total of 2,500 seconds in-game, unlocking What Do You Mean Ground. We took a break for the night, and the following day upon starting up, we instantly unlocked You Came Back for playing the game on two different days in real life. Today, we were focused on payload mode and start the adventure all over again. A lot of time has passed during this mode as I failed to read the directions and didn't realize we needed to reach 200,000 feet with each weight. It was at this point where I got the achievement Let Me Get Higher for reaching 400,000 feet that I realized I may be missing something. Luckily, these runs did not go to waste as I had a good amount of cash to upgrade our penguin. We quickly beat payload mode and unlocked load off my shoulders. After a few more runs, we unlocked gotta go faster for reaching 100 miles per hour. Bankers hate him for earning a total of 1 million money across modes. And you call that hidden for finding all four hidden baby penguins in the hangar. We then sell a bunch of items to have 150,000 in our bank, unlocking life savings. Next, we head over to the black market which is where we can spend our sardines. Although we can't buy anything right now, we find an arcade machine hidden off to the right side. Once clicked on it, it opens a secret game and unlocks Gameception. This game is similar to Asteroid, and after beating the high score, we unlocked Old School Fun, Not So Fun. We get so beefed up with our upgrades, we unlock I Live Here Now for having a flight last more than 200 seconds. Not long after, we flew for a total of 20 million feet and unlocked to infinity and beyond. Now that we've had a few playthroughs where we built up money, we managed to fly horizontally and purposely hit obstacles. After hitting 30 in one run, we unlocked I Got One. Next, we head into classic mode, and nothing too eventful happens. We end up making it 200,000 feet horizontally and unlock around the world and back for beating the mode. Now that we've beaten every mode, we start the grind to hit 5 million distance and 10 million distance. This is a grind because the only way to achieve these are to max out every item in the bonus shop where we spend BP, and we need to overlevel them all at least 10 times. The fastest way to get BP is to keep completing story playthroughs and opening packs, because once we get all the possible items from the packs, it only gives us BPs, sardines, and consumables. We used some sardines to unlock the time warp feature to speed up time during our runs, but we still had to beat the game I'd say roughly 100 to 200 times just to get enough points and sardines for the remaining items we needed. At the very least, during all this time, we played 200 days in game, unlocking Hardcore Casual, we purchased 200 items to unlock Shopping Frenzy, and we completed the 4 million foot story mode and unlocked Did Space Just Get Farther. We also completed the 4 million story mode a couple more times to unlock a secret ending where we prevent Goku from transforming on the moon. This unlocked Moonbreaker. Now that we finally have enough upgrades to venture off, we unlock Like Way High for reaching 5 million feet and then the following run, I can never count that high for reaching 10 million feet. We had to get creative for our last few achievements. We had to replay story mode until we beat it under 6 days or less. Luckily, this was on the 200,000 foot mode, unlocking I can do this with my flippers crossed. Lastly, we had to complete the 4 million distance story mode in 13 days or less and we made sure to use as many consumables as we could to boost our income and our speed. Believe it or not, on our first run through, we got it, unlocking GG easy. The last challenge is to earn all the medals in the game, and at this point, all the achievements discussed covered the medals, excluding one. 
We had to play the game on five different days in real life. After hopping on the fifth day, we earned our last two medals and unlocked Completionist. This took me the longest, obviously, and if it wasn't for this, I think we could have beaten the whole game in under three days in real life. And that's all the achievements for this video, homies. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you so much. And just know there's no crazy challenge this time around or in the next couple videos, mainly because I'm locked in on a couple huge projects coming up related to this channel and to our Twitch and to our TikTok. So if you're not on any of those, my link tree is in the bio to join all of my communities. I'm so excited to be working on these with you guys. I'll see you on the next one.